So the Coriolis effect is a, a second order effect on that affects your ballistic trajectory. It has to do with the spin of the earth. Okay, so you're basically shooting from one point to another on a rotating sphere in an inertial reference frame. And the consequence of that is that if the flight time of the bullet gets significantly long, the bullet can have an apparent drift from its intended target. And the amount is very small. It depends on your latitude and azimuth of fire on the planet. Um, the intent of this short video is just to give you an overview of what the Coriolis effect is, where it comes from. Um, but if you really wanna learn more details about it and learn how to calculate it, you can reference it in the books, Applied Ballistics for Long Range Shooting, it has a lot more detail on Coriolis effect. But to kind of give you a, a feel for it, um, it's a very subtle effect. You know, most calibers, by the time you have to get clear to a thousand yards before it starts to amount to one click on your fire solution. So anything less than a click is, you know, insignificant because you can't adjust for it. Um, Coriolis effect is not something to think about on moving targets, not really something to think about in high uncertain wind environments because there are variables that are dominating your uncertainty picture and Coriolis will distract you more than the correction is, is worth. So applications where you could think about Coriolis and have it be a major impact on your hit percentage is if you're shooting at extended range on relatively small targets in low wind conditions. In those cases where you know your muzzle velocity in BC very well, um, basically pristine conditions, that's where you're gonna see Coriolis creep in and your solutions will be, you'll see more refinement and more accuracy in your solutions if you account for Coriolis on those types of shots. Uh, but, you know, Coriolis, if you miss your target by three feet at 600 yards, it's not Coriolis. Um, you know, if you're thinking about Coriolis while you're trying to engage a moving target, you shouldn't be. Um, it's a very subtle effect. People like to make more of it than it is because it's mysterious and sort of, it's sort of an attribute of what people think of in the, you know, as to why long range shooting is so hard. Uh, but in most practical long range shooting applications, Coriolis isn't important. What is important is to understand when you should think about it and when you shouldn't, when applying it will matter and when it won't.